Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I'm here to show you um, something which is a bit of a continuation from some of the previous video tutorials I've been working on. Um, this is a basic uh, Kong looper that I created here. So you've got some different uh, Kong drums. Okay, you got some different loopers that you can play simultaneously. But the difference here is that I added in a beat repeater. And it takes any audio that's coming out of these eight pads and it'll repeat it. I also built in a step sequencer so it'll go through the steps. It goes through 16 different steps. So you can kind of see down here it's on step 5 and when you press the repeat steps, it'll go through 6, 7, 8, 9, all the way up through 16, and then back to 1 again. So then when you got, when you're on 1, and the other thing is when you press it down, it holds it, and when you lift it up, it stops the beat. So um, I'm going to show you how to produce this. It's actually not that hard. It's also, uh, I'm also going to tip my hat to Hydlide, who uh, basically, uh, showed how the beat repeater is put together. Um, so this kind of continues his idea and allows you to um, trigger the beats from the Kong device. So I'm not going to go into creating the actual loops. I already have a document here in which I've created the loops themselves. I just haven't put the beat repeater or the repeating steps um, into the Kong. So we're going to do that now. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take uh, down here, you're going to create uh, you're going to hold down your shift key, you're going to create a CV merger and splitter. You're also underneath all these loops, you're going to hold your shift key down, you're going to create a line mixer, 6-2. You're also going to create a digital, oh actually no, you're going to create a Thor, and then underneath that you're going to create a digital delay. So you have a digital delay line underneath here. Okay, so now go up to your combinator, make sure the programmer is open. So you're going to show your programmer. You're going to flip the rack around a bit. Um, what we're going to do, I will press K in order to get rid of the cables. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the beat repeater here. So the gate output is actually going to go into the CV2. Make sure it's on unipolar and make sure the trim knob is all the way set to 127. Um, actually, I shouldn't say you should do that. What you need to do is you're going to have to send this through the splitter. So you're going to send it through split A, you're going to send one split out here, and you're going to send another split out here, and you're going to increase the trim knobs, you're going to send the merged output up to the CV2. Okay. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to take the um, master outputs or the from devices uh, let's just remove those take the master outs you're going to send them down and this is going to be going into your audio in on your line mixer um, then you're going to take the master output of the line mixer you're going to send it into the input of the digital delay and the output of that delay is going to go back up and out of the combinator Okay, so I'll just show you what that looks like really quick. This is kind of the setup that you've got going on. Okay, so hopefully you can pause that movie at that point and do any uh, routing that you need to do. Um, the next thing, I'm going to move this Thor up above here. Okay, I'm also going to go flip the rack around, go to the programmer section, and under the delay one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take CV input 2 and I'm going to have this go into the feedback at 0 to 127. Same thing, CV input 2. I'm going to have this go into the dry wet 0 127. So now when I play this, when I play that pad, which I can't see it, okay. When I play that pad, it should send the feedback all the way up to 127 but it's also um, let's do this too 
Okay, if you hit it up near the top, it's going to go all the way to 127. You'll see these two knobs go to 127. If you hit it a little lower, it's not going to go all the way. And this is because it's kind of a nice feature, actually. It just gives you the control over how much beat repeating you want to have done to your signal. Okay, so that's the first thing. And the other thing we have to do is we have to make sure that this level goes down to zero when we hit this beat repeater. So we're going to go back up here, take your line mixer, have that go to CV input 2, go to level 1, and this is going to be, the minimum is going to be 100, and the maximum is going to be 0. So again, what that does, when you press lower here, the level, this level over here is going to go down a little bit, if you press it higher up, it's going to go all the way. And that's the way you want to have it. So now that you've got the basic beat repeating set up, if you play a loop, okay, you've got your beat repeating going. That acts as your beat repeater. To um, add in the steps, it's a little bit more complicated, but not all that much. What I'm going to do is I am going to initialize my Thor so that everything's at zero. I already have a patch set up for that. Um, what I am going to do is I'm going to use another CV. For this one, I'm going to put the gate out on 14, on pad 14 here. I'm going to have that gate out go into the Thor. And I'm going to have that trigger the step sequencer in Thor. And then I'm going to take a CV output, CV1. I'm going to send that back up to CV3. So it's going to go into the CV3 input on the combinator and the CV3 what I want to do I want to take that delay line I'm going to change this going to have that be CV in 3 and that is going to change my steps and that's going to be um, the delay time in steps from 1 to 16 okay now the only other thing that I need to do is I need to make sure that we set up the Thor so we're going to put the Thor on step we're going to have um, the direction be forward. We're going to have this be curve one. And then we're going to also take the step sequencer, curve one, amount 100, destination is going to be CV output one. So what this is doing is it's telling um, the combinator that as it goes through the CV here, in this sequence, it's going to move this step up or down. or Well, it's going to move it up from 1 to 16, and it's going to cycle through the steps. So now the only thing you need to do is basically look at your digital delay and just adjust your CV accordingly all the way through to get all the steps. So you've got 3, you're going to have 4, um, and actually, yeah, you can do it this way. You can have 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So now it's going to go through all these steps as it runs through. And what's going to make it run is going to be um, pressing on that repeat steps. Okay, And just to show it to you, I'm going to have to close these a little bit. When you press it, it's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. It's going to cycle through. It's going to cycle through this whole thing. And if you notice, it's on step 8 right now, which means that it's on step 8 here. You'll see it's yellow. It's moving through this Thor. And the Thor is actually pushing the delay to go up in steps. And that's basically all you need to do. A lot of people say that reason is really difficult. Well, if you just take it step by step, you can do some amazing things with it, like a beat repeater. And just to get it back down to one, uh, so that you can hear this a little bit more. The other th cool thing is when you press it, okay, we have one drum loop going. If you press the beat repeater up here, it's going full cycle. If you press it down here, it's going to have a milder tone.
So that's basically uh, your beat repeater using uh, Kong to um, play around with a beat repeater. I hope that helps you out, and I will be making this patch available on my site at reason101.net, along with a nice little tutorial about how this is all put together. Thanks a lot for watching.